Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you um, the basic Boolean operators, and it sounds pretty stupid or difficult, but it isn't really. So, um, I'm going to call my project basic boo Boolean op. Uh, uh, well, I don't know how to uh, spell that, but okay, it doesn't matter actually. <laughs> so. It's just a. I hope I check. Ah, uh, well. Windows Applications form. So I did it right. <laughs> so, oh, man. It's quite annoying. But, uh, well, never mind, actually. So, I'm going to drag up a button. And let's do two text boxes, for instance. And I'm going to explain right now what Boolean. What a Boolean actually is. And what a boolean actually is is really, really. It sounds kind of difficult, maybe for you, um, because maybe you don't know what it is uh, or what it stands for. But uh, a boolean is just a a property or something, yeah, a, a variable or property um, that contains uh, two things. Uh, well, the one or the not or the other, and that is. A zero or a one. Um, well, we we speak we speak. Uh, well, we call it uh, true or false, and false stands for zero, and when true stands for one. So, to explain you a little bit, a boolean is a true or false operator. So I'm going to change the name or uh, the text of my form. Basic boolean tutorial because I don't know how to spell operator so I'm just going to do it like that I'm also going to make it a fix it single I'm going to change the text of button 1 to check ah uh, well um, some cool thing I don't know if you know that if you put a a and sign a and sign the shift 7 that sign if you put it in front of any kind of character when you click away you will see that it comes up with a line be uh, under the next character, so it's going to be the C. So it's kind of looking cool. Um, but okay, so I'm going to double click check um, or button one, whatever you call it. So um, a boolean uh, expression or whatever you want to call it is all is most of the time always used in an if statement. I think you know that. Uh, maybe you don't know that, but but anyway. Um, so what I want to do is if uh, the first tag box equals G and B J B and K and the second one uh, equals tutorial, and then click on the button. I will uh, want to do some input text. So you can do this on two ways. I'm going to show you the easy way. Uh, not well, not the easy way. The long way. Yeah, well, it's not that long, but it's a kind of confusing. So if ta uh, text box one dot text equals to g and b j b and k, then if text box two dot text equals t tutorial than message box yeah <laughs> let's make it nothing and changing the title to yeah um, well well application mode always right so you will see it's all kind of confusing so as it should be it will work well I hope at least otherwise it would be kind of stupid so G and B J B and K beware this is case sensitive tutorial check see it show you yeah as message box so when I put uh, when I remove the L from tutorial it will do nothing so but see this is this looks uh, pretty messed up you have two you have an if statement and an if, uh, if statement which you actually don't need if you know how to use those boolean operators and it's really really easy so um I'm going to show you a couple of uh two of them it's like ah uh, well you have like three of them so you have um uh look you want to show a message box why not um 
question. Um, so you want this message to be displayed when the text box is not equals to uh, this, and it's kind of obvious, obviously I actually said it right away. Um, but you can solve this by putting in if not, and then text box one dot text equals that. So I'm going to show you right now. Um, when I type in G and B J B and K, it will do nothing. When I remove the K or something, it will show you question why not. So this is one way you can solve things like that. Um, so now the next one is let's add a message box and it's going to be display uh, cool. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm uh, what uh, how you can solve uh, the two if statements and uh, well another if statement and another in one if statement. So it's really easy. So when I have this, it's actually kind of similar to English. So if textbox one dot text equals to g and b j b and k and textbox two dot text equals to to yeah to it from tutorial then it will do this. So let's check it out. Um g and b j b and k to tutorial check question oh wrong one <laughs> Oh uh, damn it! Um, so now you see, uh, sorry. So now you see this, and yeah, it it did this actually the same thing as that. I have another if statement here on the place where the message box is shown. So this is real, yeah, we really cool to know actually. Um, so we can also remove the and to an or, and this means if text box one equals to uh, G and B G G and B J B and K. Um, so if it is uh, that, it will already jump to the code behind it. So it will already do uh, this right away. Um, but if it's not, it's going to be checking the second one, and that is if text. Uh, so uh, I'm going to tell the compiler to say if check text box two equals to dot, then I just want to do this code anyway. So let's go. Well, let's uh, check it out. So GMBJ being K. Well, that's spelled wrong. GMBJ. Let's do this one. Oh, man, GNBGA. GNBJ being K. Sorry. <laughs> um. So here, see, cool. Um. When I remove the K, it's showing nothing. But when I type in tutorial in there, it's going to be uh, doing it again. And when I remove the T from tutorial, it's going to do nothing, and when I place the K behind, behind my name, it's going to be showing again. So, well, so you have all sorts of things you can do with it, and it's really handy when you know how to use that stuff. So, yeah, uh, this it was actually it's so it's e so easy like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Uh, my email address is at the video of the description. And uh, you can uh, donate to me if you want to. Please donate to me uh, at gnbgabnk at gmail.com via PayPal. So thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you in my next tutorials or previous. <laughs> so, well, bye.